Welcome to Vermont Stages, production of Tribes by Nina Rain, playing October 7th through the 25th. What Nina Ray has done is she's just sculpted an extremely funny play about very complicated people. Come on, Dad, I thought we made a rule. Oh, if you're gonna do it, I'm leaving. When is he gonna move out again? Why am I surrounded by my children again? Yeah, yeah, hee, yeah, yeah, hee. I hate us all living here again. You have this family, very loud. We come in like a hurricane. <laughs> so the family is a little, a little bit not nutty, um, but fun, fun nutty. And we have a son named Billy who is deaf. And it's kind of the blessing in disguise that he doesn't get to hear everything. How else am I going to learn? Do it somewhere else, not here. What are you all talking about? But on the other hand, he's often left out of a lot of the conversation. He leads an isolated existence until he meets Sylvia, who opens up his world to the deaf community and to ASL. F? F? L-O. I think of Sylvia as more of a dramatic interruption. And she's definitely a facilitator and a healer and gives Billy a language that he can call his own. Both my parents are deaf. Are you? No. I just thought that everyone's parents spoke like that. But Sylvia, are you hungry? You're gonna go to the store. <laughs> and just like I thought everyone's parents walked around in the nude shouting at each other. <laughs> they do. He's not been raised to sign. He's, he's been raised as much as possible within the hearing world to function within the hearing world. We have raised him not to be handicapped. Without language, our thoughts would die. I thought I was going to die. Oh. Billy got his aids in. Billy, are they on? I hope that uh, people leave uh, with a better understanding of the deaf community and a greater sense of different forms of communication, whether it's verbal, nonverbal, touch, sign. We communicate in many different ways, and, uh, and this offers a glimpse into all of that. I'm tired of saying what, what, what all the time. You're, you're tired of being deaf? Is that what... No, that's not what I'm saying. My background is that I was um, born uh, hard of hearing, um, severe hearing loss in both ears. You know, I was raised so much like Billy in the sense that my family wanted me to be quote unquote normal and not treated any differently. It kind of brought me full circle in my life to face this thing that I've tried to hide all my years, all my life. It opened me up to another way to communicate, another way to, to interact with people. Sorry, it's um, I'm just saying. But what is Billy saying? It's a challenging play. The language is brutal, harsh, smart. It's partly a deaf play. Mm -hmm. It's partly a love story. But it's also a play about language and communication, and it's a wonderful play. A role, apparently, that, I don't know, I was born to play. I hope that people realize and really appreciate how individual and how quirky everyone's tribe. Mm. Total of the show. Really is. Good. You know? <laughs> That's one of the wonderful things about working with Vermont Stage Company is, is um, the space is a terrific space for actors to be in, to have that really intimate uh, relationship with the audience and for the audience to be so close. There are bits and pieces that everyone is going to be able to relate to and just sitting in such close proximity, I mean, you're part of the fight, you're part of the love, you're part of the tears and you can't escape it and that's, that's what a family is. Come and join our tribe October 7th through the 25th, put on by Vermont Stage at the Flynn space. Sorry, it's just that. What? I'm just saying. What did he say? It doesn't matter what I was saying. Yeah, well, what did Billy say? Sylvia understands the way I feel because she's told me how she feels and it's how I feel, a second class citizen. Billy, I, put yourself in our position. No, you put yourself in mine.